This episode of CleaningBiz.tv is made possible by Dick Olick and his new book, The Do's and Don'ts of Contract Cleaning from One Who Did and Didn't. Whether you're thinking about entering the contract cleaning business, have a company that may be struggling to get to the next level, or have a mature organization that may need to look at things in a different light, this book is for you. From naming your company to selling your company, this book covers all the bases. Coming up on today's show, quick training ideas that will keep your employees engaged and motivated. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. A few weeks ago, I was engaged in a conversation with cleaning business owners about how to keep employees from getting bored on the job. We all know that cleaning doesn't change a whole lot. We use the same systems from day to day, so employees get bored. They start slacking on the job. They may even compromise their own safety because they just don't care that much. Before you know it, the quality of work suffers and you lose employees because they're no longer engaged in their job. Even your best employees who are able to keep themselves motivated on the job need something to keep them engaged and learning new things makes them feel as if they can continue to grow in their job. One way to keep them engaged is to do mini training sessions. Now I'm not talking about scheduling a one hour training meeting that takes a lot of time and planning. I'm talking about doing short, regular training sessions that focus on one small part of the job. You can give it a name like Tuesday training or Wednesday wisdom or weekly huddle. So before work starts, you gather your employees for a short 10 minute training session. Now depending on how your business works, you may or may not be able to gather all your employees at the start of the workday. If not, then you may need to gather employees in smaller groups. Now another advantage to doing this is that the employees will feel a part of the company. Cleaning can be so isolating, so it's important for your employees to feel as if they're part of the group. So what I'm going to do today is give you some ideas that you can use right now to get started on training and engaging your employees. Example number one, understanding the pH scale. Many cleaning technicians have no idea what the pH scale is, much less that the chemicals they use to clean have a pH. So explain the scale and then explain how some chemicals that are at acidic or alkaline can damage the surfaces they need to clean. So it's important for them to understand the difference. Example number two, how to adjust a backpack vacuum for proper fit. Many people complain that backpack vacuums are uncomfortable to wear, but when you look at how they're wearing it, you realize it's not adjusted properly, so no wonder it's not comfortable. Do a quick training session on all the different ways that you can adjust the backpack so it fits comfortably. Example number three, Caddy or apron organization. Stress the importance of caddy organization to your employees, explaining that every item in the caddy should be in the same spot all the time. That way, when they grab the window cleaner that should always be on the left side, they don't accidentally grab the all-purpose cleaner by accident and take chance of, a, of damaging a surface that they're cleaning. Example number four. Review some of the important sections of the MSDS sheets that they should be familiar with, like the emergency first aid procedures, precautions for safe handling, and personal protective equipment sections. If you train them where to quickly find the information they need on the MSDS sheets, you're giving them the tools they need to stay safe, which is going to save you money in the long run. Now another way that you can do the training sessions is to make them more interactive. Rather than you doing all the talking, ask your employees questions about the topic to see how knowledgeable they are. And maybe reward, reward the correct answer with a small prize. Make it fun! So these are just a few examples of short training sessions that you can hold with your employees. They serve a valuable purpose and keep you connected to your employees. If you're a larger organization, be sure to get your supervisors involved in the training. Brainstorm a list of ideas with your supervisors so they always have plenty of topics to discuss. Your employees will enjoy it and they'll become better at their job too. Okay, that's it for today's show. And remember, everything you learned on today's show works, but if you want it to work for you, you have to take action. And as I always say, inaction may feel safe, but action can move mountains. 
I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time. Thank you.